it looks like you know just a regular day the server is getting the people's orders and as you can see here uh, you see a what I think is a book just flies out Behind the shiny lights, the partying and the entertainment here in Las Vegas, this place has deep, dark history. When you consider its ties to the mob, how many people come and visit, and the vices that the city provides. And for all those reasons and all those stories, Las Vegas is said to be one of the most haunted places in the whole United States. What is up everyone, this is George with Vegas Must Drive, back at it once again with another video. And today we're going to the most haunted places on the whole Las Vegas Strip. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for the first place up, we're here in Chinatown, about a mile away from the Strip, very close, and we're here at the Golden Tiki. This place is extremely popular for locals and tourists as well, and it's allegedly very haunted. So much so that they filmed an episode of Ghost Adventures here, and I actually got in contact with the owner, and he was able to provide the exclusive video that I'm gonna share with you guys in a second, but let's go inside real quick, and let's go take a quick look around. a party in here. I'm gonna go for a place. It's very dark, so it might not focus. Hold on a second. So you would never be able to guess that this place is as creepy as it actually is, but uh, there's a bunch of like shrunken heads everywhere. There's apparently a machete right in that corner by, by, the, by the first booth that was used to like cut a lot of people's heads off. Apparently in 1995, there was a attempted robbery here where people came in with machine guns and they started shooting up the place. Now onto the nitty gritty. The owner, Brandon, was able to provide this video that you see here on the screen right now. It looks like, you know, just a regular day, the server is getting the people's orders. And as you can see here, uh, you see a, what I think is a book, just flies out. It flies out of the display and it hurts this lady. Uh, there is another video in which, uh, you know, the server is dropping off drinks and then the whole glass, the whole tempered glass table just breaks and it shatters and it, it shoots like a bunch of pieces of uh, glass everywhere. A person that works here very early in the mornings when they're not open, saying that there was a little girl like laughing or something and then when he checked in the bathroom, he saw the little feet tangling from the actual toilet and as soon as he saw that, you know, he creeped out. There are very other instances, a lot of people have claimed to see things, the image that you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, one of them is from Yelp, and apparently they had just opened. It was really early, so there was nobody really at the bar, except this little girl creeping in the corner, which is absolutely bonkers. If you connect this story and the story that the maintenance guy uh, shared that apparently he heard a little girl laughing, the stories here, you know, just keep piling up. I've definitely been here quite a few times. I think it's a very fun place, but I probably wouldn't be here if it was by myself, you know, at 3 a.m. or something like that. All right, guys, so we're here at the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum. Zach Bagans is the same guy that I talked to you about earlier from Ghost Adventures, that TV show, very popular. And this place is not just a museum, it is a mansion. It was built back in 1938, and it's called the Wergert Mansion. Wengert Mansion. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Apparently, the family that lived here was haunted by the ghost of a, of a child. They ended up selling the house, and in between selling it, people broke in and performed a satanic ritual of some sort, I believe in the basement. So yeah, then Zach Bagans uh, bought the place and you know filled the whole place up with really demonic and haunted objects. In this place, they have the, Red, the Devil's Rocking Chair, which you can see from the movie Conjuring. They also have the world's most haunted object, which is the Dybbuk Box. Uh, this Dybbuk Box, I believe, is almost like a hairdresser from the Holocaust, I believe. This object is apparently so messed up that uh, when Post Malone came here with Zach Bagans to come and check it out, they were messing around with it, and a bunch of bad luck started happening to Post Malone right after he was involved with this object. His plane almost crashed two times. They had to do emergency landings. He was a victim of home invasion, and also he got in a car accident. So a bunch of creepy stuff started happening. Happening. 
uh, after he messed around with this Dybbuk box. I've never been to the actual museum myself. None of my friends want to come with me, so I might just have to come and do it by myself. If you're a fan of the creepy and scary, I would definitely recommend you coming here because there's probably not going to be a better place with such epicenter of creepiness going on. All right, so we're all wrapped up here. And now let's head over to the Strip because the hotel and casino that you're going to stay at on your next visit might just be haunted. Let's go check them out. All right, my people, so the first place on the list is the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. This is a casino that was built back in 1968, so there's over 50 years of history in these walls. And also it has the theme of a circus, carnival, clown. So that in and of itself is already very creepy. So there's a bunch of stories that happened here, but one in particular that stands out that is very famous is that of a mother killing her own child. A little boy, apparently she shot the boy and then committed suicide. Uh, and this happened in the room 123. Room 123 is very famous for this story. People that stay there claim to, you know, see the little boy, see a shadow, you know, hearing a kid, you know, everyone that stays on that floor hears a kid crying uh, for help in the hallways and when they call security, no one's there. To be honest, I actually looked for this story online to verify whether it was true or not or when it happened to get more info and I could not find anything. So this could be just, you know, like a, an old tale or maybe I just didn't dig in enough. Now, even without this story, there's a bunch of stuff that has happened here. You can look it up, but just the theme itself, you know, the clowns everywhere, the color, and it's also the fact that it's very old. There's low ceilings, you know, it has a bunch of factors that make it kind of creepy. On the other hand, there are a ton of children here and a bunch of families, so it can't really be too scary when there's a bunch of kids running around and you know how they have like the actual circus show, the Adventure Dome and all that stuff. So take that story with a grain of salt. I couldn't verify whether it was true or not, but either way, without that story, I'm sure there's a bunch of other creepy stuff going on and the clowns everywhere don't really help the whole essence of it. All right guys, so this next place up is the Valleys, AKA the old MGM Grand. Back in the 1980s, 85 people lost their lives here. If there is one centerpiece for Haunted, uh, it would definitely have to be here because 85 people passed away in a fire. Apparently there was a fire, a short circuit at the deli that was in the casino and this whole casino engulfed in a really, really big fire. The firefighters were, you know, they put it out, but the smoke that crawled up into the rooms through the air vents uh, intoxicated a lot of people. And as a result of that, 85 people lost their lives. Uh, but it's said that you can hear people screaming at night, you know, really late at night. You can see a lady with a dress on fire. You can, you know, there's a bunch of creepy stuff that happens here. And I mean, as a result of, you know, 85 people dying, that definitely makes a whole lot of sense. Apparently the MGM settled for, you know, millions and millions of dollars to pay to the families of all the people that lost their lives. And as a result of all of this, uh, a lot of different fire codes became established here in Las Vegas. As a matter of fact, we have some of the strictest fire codes uh, here. The Valleys is not going to be the Valleys for very long. As some of you may already know, it's turning into the Horseshoe Casino. But yeah, as of right now, here's the Valleys and it's crazy, wild, rich history and it's potentially one of the most haunted places here in Las Vegas. Alright guys, so we are here at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino, which was once the most luxurious property on the Las Vegas Strip and it was built by Bugsy Siegel and a bunch of other associates. So the story has it that his ghost is still seen roaming around here like a dark shadow, a figure, uh, which is kind of creepy in and of itself. Apparently the investors of the casino had a problem with the profits, so they had a talk with Bugsy and you know what that means in the mob world, he was shot and killed people say that his ghost is still seen here like a, a shadowy figure uh, the lights turn on and off you know the doors open by themselves and they say it happens at either the presidential suite which was also where he lived they also called it the seagull suite and at the outdoor area where the flamingos are there's also apparently an outdoor pool where he's seen late at night i do have one problem with this whole situation is that he was shot and killed in beverly hills 
So what did he do? Like, did he take a Greyhound bus? Spirit took a Greyhound bus here to Las Vegas and then started scaring people here. Even if that story isn't necessarily real, or if there's no ghost necessarily that it's his, this was a mob run place. The term 86, when you get 86 from a place, like let's say you're no longer allowed at the Cosmopolitan, you get 86. That term actually comes from a mob term. It means eight miles out of the city, six feet underground. But back in the day, it meant that, hey, you know, uh, 86, uh, George right here, he's, uh, he's no longer allowed here. So there's a little backstory. Now I am in the south end of the strip and I am standing in front of the Luxor Hotel and Casino. It all started during construction way back when, about 29 years ago. I've seen numbers from as low as two people passing away to as high as seven people during construction. So that in and of itself already has like spirits of the people that were working on this. Now, another thing is that apparently two people have committed suicide. The pyramid is essentially hollowed and all the rooms are within the perimeter. So when you step outside, you essentially have a balcony in which you can peek over and see basically the whole casino and hotel. You can essentially peek over the balcony and see the whole resort, which is kind of crazy. And I'm surprised that only two people have done it. One of the people that lost their lives was apparently a girl and she fell on top of the buffet the old buffet, which is now where the food court is. That place is kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's haunted. I wouldn't like to be there alone at night, and apparently that is when this lady has appeared and people see her crying. Another reason why people say that Luxor is haunted is because of the Titanic, the exhibition. Uh, apparently there's a bunch of artifacts and pieces from the actual wreck that are haunted. A lot of the workers that are there say that they feel really, really sketchy vibes, uh, that they see people and then they disappear the doors are being like open things move on their own and I mean I can just imagine how much you know like energy if that's even a thing is trapped within those artifacts so in general the Luxor is always on the news with some sketchy stuff happening here as far as I know employees have also died in here there has been an outbreak of illnesses and people say that the reason why a lot of stuff happens here at the Luxor is because it's a black pyramid and that is somehow related to Egypt and that's why it's cursed I mean I don't know a whole lot of details nor do I necessarily believe in that but one thing is for sure is that a lot of stuff happens here all right guys so that about does it with this video the most haunted places here in las vegas my personal opinion i honestly don't believe in ghosts and demons and haunted stuff and all that stuff uh, but i still leave room for the possibility that it could be real you know i've never uh, seen anything or experienced anything but i also wouldn't play the ouija board in a cemetery in the middle of the night if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and if you have any stories that are worth sharing like that happened here in las vegas or in your personal life related to ghosts and stuff i'd love to read them so make sure to comment in the section below till next time guys peace out